Sherlock Holmes, a reboot of Sherlock Holmes, starring Robert Downey Jr. as the famous British sleuth, Jude Law as Dr. Watson, directed by Guy Ritchie, formerly Mr. Madonna, and the man who gave us Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. What an odd combo this is, and what an odd film this is as well. Sherlock Holmes looks great. The atmosphere is there. It captures Murray Old England back in the late 1800s. But something just doesn't quite click for me with this film. Robert Downey Jr. plays the super sleuth. And as I said, Jude Law plays Dr. Watson. They're good friends. They even live together. And you wonder if there's something else going on here. Well, what happens is uh, there's a, a, a bad guy whose name is Lord Blackworth. And he is uh, killed, he's hung, and he sort of returns from the dead, and members of Parliament are getting knocked off, and it's up to Sherlock Holmes and Watson to figure out why he returned and how they can stop him. Okay, so much for the story. There's lots of action-adventure sequences as you could expect, and it's not before long that this becomes sort of Sherlock Holmes in the Temple of Doom. Um, there's stuff that Guy Ritchie adds to the film I did like. Uh, Guy Ritchie's the guy that gave us these sort of snarky British crime movies and some of his touches, like there's a boxing match in slow motion and they sort of dissect how to knock out the, uh, how Sherlock Holmes knocks out the opponent. I like that kind of stuff. That brings a little polish and a little style of the proceedings. But overall I find that this is a movie where the actors seem to be having more fun making the film than you do watching the film. Uh, the female star is Rachel McAdams. She's sort of somebody from Holmes' past that comes back and gets involved in the mystery. She doesn't bring a whole lot to her role. And at the same time, Dr. Watson is about to get married, and Holmes doesn't like it one bit. So, overall, I would say, and, and the deerstalker hat is not there either, so they did do some, some revisionist uh, stuff in this film. Overall, I would say, uh, even for Sherlock Holmes fans, this one is not quite a hit. Um, you know, Downey does his best, and so does Jude Law, but they're sort of huffing and puffing, and there's not much of a payoff. So, for Raw Reviews, this is Movie Irv.